Today I'm going to share with you all of the math curriculum that we will be using next year in the 2025-2026 school year for my rising sixth grader and my rising pre-K son. Hi everyone, welcome to our homeschool table. My name is Gerilyn. I have three kids, ages 10, now four, and one. And here on my channel, I like to share about all things homeschool, curriculum, planning, organization, and everything in between. So I hope that you will hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I do want to let you know that this video is in collaboration with some other homeschool moms sharing about their math curriculum picks for the coming school year. So thank you to Davine from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool for hosting today's collaboration. I will go ahead and link down below in the description box a link to the playlist so that you can go and check out all of the other videos in this collaboration today. Okay, so like I said, I have three kids. So I have a daughter who will be starting sixth grade next year and then a son who will be starting in kind of his pre-K year. So I'm going to go ahead and start with sharing about my pre-K son because his is much easier to explain and talk about but I have chosen to use preschool math at home, and we have been doing this a little bit this year in, the, in his kind of preschool year. This uh, goes through counting zero to five, and then um, six to 10 as well, and all of the skills that come along with that. So being able to count with one-to-one -one correspondence, that's counting each item and saying how many there are, um, and he's not quite doing that yet. Um, and it goes from zero to 10. So we will still be working through this book next year in his pre-K year. This is Preschool Math at Home by Kate Snow. And this is available on all sorts of different websites, Amazon, Rainbow Resource, Christianbook.com. You can order it straight from the Well-Trained Minds and I'm sure other places as well. So this is a great book and I've heard lots of great recommendations from uh, other homeschool moms. We will be continuing on and finishing it next year as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about my daughter who is going to be in sixth grade next year. This is going to be our seventh year homeschooling and she started in the Matthew C program back in kindergarten. So we have been using Matthew C from kindergarten all the way up through now in fifth grade. But what you might also know if you have followed me for a little bit is that this spring in, well actually it was winter, we actually switched to um, Christian Light Education Mathematics 4 in the very early part of February. I think it was the first week of February we started doing this. And the reason for that is because Matthew C. was getting really, really challenging and we needed more review. I was constantly making my daughter review sheets from the uh, worksheet generator, which I love and I'm so glad that it's an option, but I felt like I was making so much review for her that um, that we just needed to do something else. So we are kind of using two different math programs for this part of fifth grade. Um, and we're going to continue doing that in the sixth grade, which is why I have so many different math things out here today. So for my daughter's sixth grade math, we are going to be working on three different math programs. Now, the first one is the Mathematics 4 that we will be finishing at the beginning of next school year. So right now, she is in the fourth light unit. This comes with 10 light units. And uh, so they learn a little bit of new material each day, each lesson. And then there's a lot of review, which we are absolutely loving. I can't say that, I can't say that enough. We are really loving this program. Now you're probably wondering, well, your daughter's in fifth grade and she's in math four. Well, yes, and that's because in the Matthew C program, she hadn't learned some of the things with the way that it is, um, with the way that it's set up, you learn certain skills each year and then you really learn those in depth. So for instance, um, in fifth grade, you learn fractions and in sixth grade, you learn decimals. Well, in the Christian Light Education Program, they've been doing fractions and decimals since second or third grade. So she was going to hit some things in Christian Light Math that she wouldn't have ever seen yet. So I went ahead and leveled her down 
a grade level this year in fifth grade for that reason. Well, since we started in February, obviously we are not going to be done with all 10 light units by the end of summer. Um, we will probably get close. I would say, I think I've calculated that she'll probably have um, seven or eight light units done by the end of July. And we normally start our new homeschool year like midway through August. And I do plan to give her a little bit of time where the, where she's not actually doing any math, but not for very long because um, I have kind of decided to change for math and language arts to a more year-round approach. So um, with that said, she's going to probably start her sixth grade year doing a couple more light units of math four, and then we will go ahead and just move on and get math five from Christian Light Education. So that's kind of her main everyday program that she does mostly independently, um, which I really like. And then I, of course, have the answer keys to go along with it. This is an answer key for books one through five, and then there's another answer key for books six through 10. Um, they do have complete uh, teacher's manuals. I just chose to get the answer keys only because I didn't really feel like um, it was going to be that big of a deal to just read the lessons from here with her and be able to help her with the math. So I didn't get a full teacher's manual, just the answer keys, and that is going just fine. Well, so that's kind of our daily math curriculum and practice, which she really likes speed drills that are in this program. There's a daily speed drill for one minute of addition or subtraction or multiplication or division, and she loves that part. She keeps track of her points and um, all of that. And, and then um, she also really enjoys doing the quizzes and tests that are in here. There's a quiz on the fifth and 10th lesson and then the test on the 16th lesson, and each booklet has 17 lessons total. So we're really loving this, and we're going to start the year with it and then just move right on into the next level. So now let's talk about the other program that we're going to use, which is Math UC still. Um, so this year in fifth grade, we were doing the Epsilon level, which is fractions, and we got through 12 lessons of this so far. This comes with a teacher's manual, and a DVD, which has Mr. Demi as the teacher. He's the creator of the program. It is a little bit outdated, um, so you're going to have to be okay with the 90s Mr. Demi, um, but he's a great math teacher, and we really have enjoyed um, using those DVDs over the years. Uh, the Epsilon level has the student workbook, so each of the lessons has seven days of practice, and so we are actually going to be doing this more together now that we are doing the math from Christian Light Education as kind of our daily independent math. This we are going to mostly just do together. And I just really like the way that Math UC teaches the kind of visual way of, um, of learning how to do uh, adding of fractions, multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, um, and all the other um, skills that they learn in math you see. So we are going to be still using this next year, um, but just a little bit at a time, not every single day. Um, and then this program also comes with a fraction overlay kit. And I actually have a full video on this uh, Epsilon level. So I will link it up here and down below in the description box for you if you are interested in that level. Um, and this is geared usually to fifth grade. Well, the next thing that she's going to be using from Math UC is the next level up, which is decimals. So this is Zeta, the Zeta level, which is the last one in the kind of elementary levels. Um, then after this, it goes into pre-algebra and algebra and continues on. But Zeta is all about decimals and percents. And so we, are going to be using this book a little bit here this spring in April and May, uh, just the basics, probably just the first couple of lessons. Um, this program, again, just like all of them, they have a student workbook, and as you can see, it's very thick. Um, it has the student workbook, the instruction manual, the test booklet, the DVD for teaching, 
And then this level actually comes with an algebra decimal, an algebra decimal insert kit. And so I haven't done a full video on this yet, but I definitely can. I actually got this from a friend of mine. She was getting rid of it. And so I didn't have to purchase it, but it has different manipulatives to go along with teaching this level. So I'm really excited about that. I know that just like in the other levels that we've used, the hands-on approach for my daughter is very helpful in helping her to understand how to do this math. So I'm really excited that we are going to be kind of mixing it up a little bit and incorporating more, um, more than just the math you see. I really, really like the Christian Light Education math and I definitely want to continue on with that, um, but I also really like the way that Matthew C. teaches math, and I've seen several other homeschool moms here on YouTube that use multiple math curriculums simultaneously, and so I know that it can be done. It'll just be more for kind of me to do as the mom, but, uh, I'm, but I think it'll work out really well and that my daughter and I will like it. Um, so if you are interested in hearing more about how these programs go next year, definitely subscribe and click the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos, because, um, this year I've been doing monthly updates. I will probably either continue with monthly updates or maybe go to like a quarterly type of update next year. Um, so you'll just kind of have to see, but I will have a playlist that I start for the 2025-2026 school year of all of our update videos and how our curriculum is going. If you have used any of these math curriculums, I would love to hear how you liked them. If you have any tips or tricks or things that we should be aware of before we start, definitely let me know. I am always open to suggestions and listening to um, you know, seasoned homeschool moms that have gone ahead of me and know more about these programs than I do. Um, if you have any questions or comments about anything, go ahead and leave those down below in the description box. I hope that it was helpful for you to see kind of what we're going to be using and kind of talking through the reasons why I chose these curriculums. So um, I would definitely love to hear back from you on what you think about all of that and um, if you have any suggestions. Don't forget to go down to the description box to click on the playlist link and see what all of the other moms are sharing about their math curriculum for this coming school year. Thank you so much to Davine from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool for hosting today's collaboration. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today at our homeschool table, and we'll see you next time.